Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. Just going to do an unboxing video with my new painting project, the Skaven Varmin Lord Kit. Um, this I just I ordered this uh, the day I got it for pre-order, um, and it arrived today. Well, today's Monday, so it came pretty quick. Um, I'm just very quickly going to have a look at the box because this is the first time I've ordered um, like something that's up for pre-order that's brand new in a long time and I haven't got one of these new kind of up to date boxes yet they're really nice the back of it gives a lot of cool pictures a lot of nice little touches on it and um, you know it gives the name like there's a lot of just like five models you can make out of this and it clearly shows it on the back of it all the little details you can make out of it you can have your uh, corruptor your vermin king your warbringer your warp seer and your deceiver so um, a lot of detail in the boxes, it gives you a list of paints as well. So um, pretty cool boxes, but um, I guess the sprues is what I'm really want to look at. And plus this comes in the box as well, it's like another little box inside of it. And it wasn't wrapped in plastic, which um, I think, I don't, know, I don't know whether that's just like a new thing ordered from Games Workshop website or if that's what they're all like now, so it's just a little something different that I noticed. Uh, so first up, you got your uh, instruction booklet, which is pretty thick. You know, there's a lot of pages in it. Um, I kind of quickly flick through it, but the cool thing about it is you get all your rules for the five guys. So um, I had heard that you get the the rules of some of them, some new releases that don't have army books yet. So it's pretty cool to, to make sure you get them in it. Um, and there's the size of the base you get with it. Um, you know, it's the first time I've ordered a brand new model, and it's the first time I've ordered like a monstrous kind of big character model. And you know, when you're looking at them for so long, you forget how small these really can be. So uh, there's the big base there, and it's just two sprues. Um, I didn't look at them too much in detail, but basically one of them is kind of like your big bits, like your body, your legs, a lot of fur. Um, the tail and some of the weapons and parts for the base and then this one here is all the kind of little small detail stuff like your horns, your heads, uh, your weapons um, and a few other bits as well so um, I'll start off with the big one here and uh, I'll just lower this down just to make sure I get a proper quality so let's start off here then let's see um, this is the part that uh, it's for the base. There's two alternates for the base. You either get to put them standing on this little room, kind of stone thing with the mouses on it, or the rats. Or you can put them on the end, his foot, on the end of the kind of the big halberd type weapon. Uh, I'm not sure what names yet. I'm still kind of, you know, I've I literally only got this model about half an hour ago. So I'm. Um, for me, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this one for the base. Um, the one standing on the halberd isn't the greatest looking item, in my opinion. Um, but there's a lot of cool details in this. You know, you have the little mice on it and everything. Um, then you have the legs with a lot of fur and a lot of, you know, like kind of scaven rune markings on them, which will be glowing when they're all painted up. Um, another part of the foot with some armor on the shins. Then you have what looks like a part of an arm, maybe. I'm not too sure. And then you have the big parts here, which is the body. Um, and clearly, the, there's no um, armor part on the chest yet. And then there's the back of it as well, which takes up a big chunk of the model. Uh, just by looking at it, it's like really clear that it's like a, a rat model. The big furry legs and the big tail sticking out. Um, then it's just fur parts here and then you have I'd imagine this is for like the shoulders if I turn it over. There's no detail on either side, so I but it looks like it could be like just on the shoulders, the back of the neck type of thing. Um and there's your armor play for the chest, then it looks like so let's just get a better look at that one there. Some of the rune markings on it. There you go. I'm not too sure what some of the runes are but 
that one right in the middle looks like a clinician one. So um, let's move on then. Let's go back a little bit further. Um, you have the extended tail parts or the tail on this guy. Like there's the tail starts there, sticking out from the big this that big piece, and then it goes on to there. He has two tails by the way, by the looks of it now. Um, you have two parts there, and then you have like another two big long bits there that are just joined right at the end there. Um, and then up here, which looks like the very tip of the tails, you know, the two blades on them. I'm not sure if there's alternates for the ends of the tails, but if that's pretty cool looking anyway. And then you have like just the part of a leg there as well. And here you have kind of like the iron root, the cloth. So just going around the waist, which is really nice looking. Um, just another little armor plate there. And here we have a part of the head. I think there's only going to be like one part of this. And then, you know, you add your different facials on it. Yeah, so then all that's left after that is this piece here. There's not a lot of detail on that side. Um, oh, sorry, wrong one there. So I'm not too sure what that piece is for yet. And then you have just more for the piece there then. Uh, but one of the coolest pieces on this um, on this sprue is the big, I think it's called a glaive or something like that. I'm not too sure. I did look it up, but I'm just not too sure yet. Um, it's a really long kind of halberd type weapon. Which I don't like the way he stands on it. I think it would have been a lot cooler if he was just holding it up or something. But it's definitely a really nice spare piece to have. Um, I think I'm going to be making the Deceiver guy. I think that's like the Clan Ashen fella. So this won't be getting used. But it's really nice to have for a spare piece to use for something. Um, goes into a lot of great detail. You have the Warp Stone. There you go. It, uh, kind of sticking out of it. Giving it power and then the same on the other side. Or the other end. And then on this side you have the Warp Stone again. A lot of you know your scaven detail and weapon parts and all. So um, so yeah, so that's the first sprue. Uh, a lot of big parts with a lot of cool details on them. And then this is the what's the best way to describe it? This is the busy sprue? Just everything is on this one. Um, you know, so we'll start with this corner here. Let's have a look. So um. Like even look at the size of the horns, like that is huge. That's about half the size of that big glaive halberd thing we were looking at there. Um, there's the other part of it up there with the bells on tied onto it. And here we have the first part of the head. Um, yeah, with the horn coming over and the other part here, I think you can make it out a bit easier that way. That's the other side of it, so. Um, very nice, very cool, big kind of um, very decorative, like armored head, pretty cool. And then what else do we have? Just parts of an arm here. You can't really see too much on this side of it. On the other side, you can see there's like some runes on it and everything. Um, and then there's just kind of hair and fur, but two hair, two hair and fur bits there. And then you have the big. Uh, kind of claw weapon that one of the guys have. I'm not sure what his name is, but he looks like he could be like um, a storm vermin guy. So um, that's really big. That's like huge. These are definitely spare parts that you could fit on your giant if you wanted to. Um, you know, if you wanted to convert a giant kit or something like that, you could probably do it with all these spare parts left over from this. So we'll go on to the second corner then. Um, I go that way just to make sure I can get all in the picture. So first up we have this move the camera back, make sure you get it in. This kind of dagger here. Uh very nice looking. As again, not said as I said before, I'm not sure the names of them yet. All these are the weapons are named and everything in the instructions. Um pretty cool looking. And then you have the kind of the throne star for the clan Eshing guy. Um and has a little bit of like poison or blood, or whatever you want to paint it out of sticking out of it there, which is pretty big. Like the hand is on it, it's absolutely massive. Um, part of a hand there, another part of a horn, I think it is. And then you have two parts of the head here, and these ones are I was looking at 
in the magazine that I got as well. Um, one side is kind of like normal, and then the other side he kind of has a bit of his face missing, so he has a bit of skull sticking out, which is really cool. I really like that. I, I'm gonna try and use that piece if I can get it in. Um, but one of the coolest parts in this is this one here. This goes on, I think, the Varmin King guy. I could be wrong, though. But um, it's like a mask with, you know, a spice cone. It's very decorative, very nice looking. Very something that, like, a leader would wear. It's pretty awesome. If it'll get in focus or you can get a proper look at it. There you are. And then just two corners left then. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, yeah, I'll switch to that side because I think there's more details on the other side. Uh, the two big weapons here that one of the guys has. These are absolutely massive. They're very big. Uh, the handles on them. If I can zoom in and get a better look at them. They're just full of design. And the other one up here as well. Very well designed. This is the... Pestilence fella with the disease and all because I remember looking at his hand he has all like blisters and parts of skin missing and everything you can see it on this arm as well so um, that's the guy who gets the two big, two big blades like that which are really awesome then you have just some armor parts here and uh, I think this looks like I'm not sure what that is actually some part oh that's the skull because there's the other part there I can see the face in it now um, and then another part of one the horns to go with it. So down to the last corner. These parts look like they're for the guy with the the greaser guy with the well not the greaser guy. What would you call him? Let's actually have a quick look at the box. Warp seer, that's it. This guy has like the big kind of globe, the deck globe, whatever it's called. Um and mostly on this spruce in two cluster. There's a lot of horns on it. And um, there you get a good look at his face. Or one of the faces, it doesn't have to be his specifically. Uh, an arm full of runes. So that's probably most likely definitely his. A lot of magic runes glowing on it. And there's the orb itself. Uh, full of runes and little details to do. And I was reading in the White Dwarf that the marking in it is something new for the Skaven. So something different could be on the horizon that marking is something new that came into it so just something small that I read now and then just one of the heads there then maybe get a better look on the other side no this other side is all flat detail and um, it's more the armor kind of stitched together and a lot of the horns with the bells on them so I'm um, so that's it two sprues um, I get the other one on here. I have to say for the people who design these things, uh, especially whoever like these new stuff from Games Workshop, it's they do a phenomenal job. I know people complain about the prices and everything else, but trying to come up with something like this where you can make five different models from, um, no, and they'll all fit perfectly. Look, I there's not a whole lot of. I couldn't see any like big massive mold lines sticking out or anything and um, it must be a head wrecking job and like this was 71 euro and if you do think about it it is 71 euro like for plastic model but the design and the work that went into the crane this is absolutely phenomenal and um, the detail everything is absolutely top class you're not going to beat this anywhere um, you know, this is first class stuff, it's absolutely unreal. So I'm um, I'm very excited about getting this started. I'm still not sure which guy to make. I was thinking of from the very start it was the deceiver guy, the Kanishin guy. But the the crook there looks pretty cool, the Vermin King, that guy there looks pretty cool. And a part of me wants to have the Warpser guy as well. Um, but I'm gonna have to have to think about it. I'm not like I'm not gonna be getting another one of these. So I'm. Um, I'm not sure yet. So leave a comment below. Help me help my decision a little bit easier. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think of this unboxing. Um, fantastic kit. The 
it's like, the sculpt is perfect it's really are nice and I can't wait to even just to have it you know put together just to look at before I even paint it so um, let me know what you guys think which one should I make um, it's not really for gaming it's more for like I don't game as I said before so it's more for just my own personal army and for painting so like the rules don't really bother me that much um, so yeah let me know what John, I should do um, let me know what you guys think about it leave your comments below and please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and uh, stay tuned over the next couple of days and I should have more updates on this as I uh, put them together and um, you know start painting them eventually. I'd imagine I will be painting them in parts like I don't think I'm going to do it in one big go. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys in the next video.